So what does a 16 pound can of raspberry gauche taste like? Shall we find out? Clock and from the Vale Brewing Company in Richmond, Virginia, we have a can of their Never Again 3 Extreme, which is a gauche coming in at 7% ABV. Now, first things first, I would like to thank KCJ Bomber or Kenton um, for sending me this, this can of beer in. This can, it costs 16 quid. 16 quid this can costs so this has got to be some mighty damn fine beer it's got to be um <coughs> from what i can gather this is like a um a raspberry gauche um by the vale brewing company in uh richmond virginia now apparently the vale brewing company all their beers quite expensive to be honest you know you, there's not many beers they do that are actually cheap now, i looked on their website um but this is meant to be highly acclaimed it's meant to be something really really special so you know they call it a triple raspberry gauche <laughs> so without further ado let's get it open let's get it in a glass and let's see what all the fuss is about oh my word have i just killed someone look at the color of that Oh. My. Word. What a beer! I don't think I've ever experienced a beer that looks like this. It is, it's blood red. It looks like you've just, the red of this looks like you just slaughtered someone. It looks like a, it literally looks like a glass of blood with a, with a one finger tight pink foam head on there. Look at that for a, a good looking pot. glass of beer. Let's get the aromas. Oh God, it's raspberries. It smells like a raspberry smoothie. It looks like a raspberry smoothie. Raspberry jam as well. <sighs> raspberry ice cream, raspberry jam, raspberry smoothie, um, ra raspberry convict, raspberry this, raspberry that, raspberry whatever. Raspberry dessert, it's just raspberries, raspberries, raspberries and raspberries. So without further ado, let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers, Kenton. Oh my word! <laughs> this is just bonkers! This has to be the most bonkers beer I've ever had in my life! This tastes like I'm drinking a raspberry smoothie! I don't even feel like a beer! I don't even feel no alcohol in it! It's not having a dessert. This is like you've got a dessert and they put that raspberry <coughs> Kool Aid all over it or whatever, you know, what, uh, all that fancy arty farty stuff, and they do them that raspberry drizzles and all that. That's what this is like. Whoa. It's not overly sour as well, so there's a lot of sweetness to it. Jammy, it's raspberry, it's 
got the consistency of a smoothie. It feels like I'm drinking a smoothie. Even when you look at the glass. This is just, <coughs> it's just fucking bonkers. <laughs> this is a bonkers beer. A really, really bonkers beer. I don't think I've ever had a beer that's so bonkers as this. This is unreal. This is unreal. I can see why this is so expensive. This is definitely real fruitiness, real raspberries, a high concentration of real raspberries. I hate to think how many raspberries are used to produce a barrel of this. You know, this ain't no fake raspberry that they've put in there. This is proper raspberries. No wonder this beer is so expensive. No wonder this beer is so expensive. This is a great, great beer. I'm just so pleased. It's Kenton. You, you sent me this. But you didn't just send me one. You sent me two. So I've got another one of these to enjoy. I'm just... I'm just lost for words at this, the quality of this beer. This is unreal. It's so rich. This is up there with some of the best beers I've ever had. Really, um, for a sour, you know, I don't really find how you can call these a gauche, really. I haven't been to like the old East Germany, been to Leipzig, but as a sour beer, this is unreal. This has to be the best sort of fruit sour beer I've ever had. The flavours are so intense. This is just gorgeous. This is this is bonkers, a bonkers beer. A bonkers beer. A bonkers beer. It's bonkers, but it's so drinkable and it is so addictive as well. This is so addictive. I can't find no alcohol in it. To me, it's void of alcohol. It's void of having 7% alcohol in this. It's totally void. You could give this to someone and say, this is a smoothie I've just made, a raspberry smoothie, and they'd drink it. You could drink, you could give this to a non-alcoholic and go, here's this raspberry smoothie I've just made, made for you, and they'd drink it, and they wouldn't even contemplate there's alcohol in it. This is bonkers. It's bonkers. It's great. I love it. Kenton, I love this beer. Thank you so much. It's putting a big smile on my face. So look, <laughs> see if you can get out of a can of this, because this is bonkers, right? This is a bonkers, bonkers brew. So see if you can get out of a can of this. Try it. See what you think. Leave me a comment below. I know for a fact this is going to be the first YouTube, UK YouTube review of this beer. And I actually think it might be the first review of this beer in the world. So, you know, I'm privileged for that one. This is bonkers. This is a bonkers beer. So look, get out of a can, try it, see what you think. Leave me a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. Wow. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. Wow.